Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Vicky here and today I have a very fun mixed media project. I am going to show you how I created a vignette house and this is actually a project that I have created while I was guest designing for Simon Says Stamp a few days ago. So in case you didn't have the chance to watch this video on their channel, here it is on my channel as well. I am going to use this uh, wooden house by Tim Holtz and I'm going to decorate it. Now, first of all, I'm going to use some paper from this uh, paper pad to dress up some of the sides and the back. And I'm also going to dress it up by using deco tape by Tim Holtz as well. So first of all, I'm going to decide which papers I'm going to use. And uh, you can go ahead and uh, decorate your house as uh, much as you like. You can uh, go ahead and color the sides or cover it up completely. But in my case, I am going to embrace the wooden look and feel of this box and I'm just going to cover up only a few sides. So I took some measurements and now I'm going to cut out my pieces so that I can stick them down. And here are my pieces ready to go. I'm going to use some uh, tape at the back and I'm going to stick that inside my house. And I'm going to use the two smaller paper pieces for the bottom of my house. But before that, I'm going to cover up all the sides of my box by using the design tape. This is the butterfly design tape by Tim Holtz. And uh, you get uh, many different uh, designs of uh, that tape in one package. I chosen to use the thinner one, which is going to give a beautiful decorative look on all my edges. This is slightly larger than the edge, but this is not a problem. I'm just going to press it down once I have covered up everything. And also notice that this is design tape, it's not washi tape, so it sticks even better than washi tape. So once I have covered up all the edges, I am going to use my scissors to cut out the excess tape and then I'm going to make some notches on where those tapes meet and I'm going to turn all that tape inside just to make sure that everything is nicely stuck in my box. And I'm doing that just because that design tape is slightly bigger than the edge, probably about an eighth of an inch uh, bigger. So now everything is nicely stuck there and my box is looking beautiful. Now I'm going to use those uh, smaller paper pieces. I'm going to stick them down on the bottom of my house and I have also one more for the bottom of my roof. And of course you can go ahead and cover up the whole box with paper. I decided to go plain and embrace the beautiful uh, wooden look. Now I'm going to spell spring and uh, these are wooden uh, letters from the Letterpress Ideology Collection by Tim Holtz and I'm going to stick them at the bottom of my house and to do that I'm just using my hot glue gun there and as I am sticking them down I'm making sure that I don't stick everything in a row so some of the letters are uh, more uh, in the front, others are at the back and this way I'm creating a more interesting look. To decorate my house, I'm going to use the botanical layers. This is a set by Tim Holtz from his Ideology co latest collection. And uh, you get beautiful images of flowers and butterflies. And um, the idea here is uh, to create a dimensional look inside my house. So I'm not going to stick everything at the back, but I'm going to create different layers, one in front of the other. So for some of the images, I'm going to use foam squares and uh, stick them at the back just like I'm doing here but for other images I'm going to use my hot glue gun and I'm going to stack them just behind the letters. And what is great about those new cutouts by Tim Holtz is that they are made out of hard cardstock so they are not just plain paper and they will stand on their own.
And here is how my house is looking at the moment after sticking many of those cutouts, one in front of the other. And I would recommend to use different colors of flowers as you stack them one on top of the other, because this way they are going to stand even more and they are not going to blend in altogether. And the beauty of creating a vignette house is that you can go dimensional and uh, that's a, a really fun project, especially if you are a card maker and you are used to create flat uh, things. So now I'm going to use this uh, little glass bottle with the cork on top. I'm going to decorate it by using the design tape all around it. And um, I'm going to place that inside my house. Now this is going to be a vase for my little flowers. The flowers that I will be using are again by the latest uh, ideology collection by Tim Holtz. I am going to separate three of them. They come uh, wrapped all together, but you can easily separate as many as you like. Of course, these are paper flowers, so you can spray them, you can ink them, you can turn them in any color that you like. And I think that's the beauty of these uh, flowers, because you can... Uh, match any project that you are working on but in my case I decided to leave them white as they are just because they stand out even more against the wooden house and I'm only coloring the center of my flowers and for that I'm using my alcohol markers. Now my flowers are all ready to go. I am going to chop off just a little bit from the stems so that they fit in my glass a little bit better. And uh, just to secure them inside there so that I am sure that they will not move, I am using my hot glue gun. And now that my bottom of uh, the house is pretty much finished, I'm going to work a little bit on the roof. So for that again I'm going to combine some of the cutouts from the same set as the rest of the flowers. Now to decorate the other side of my roof I'm going to use a quote from the quote chips set by Tim Holtz. These are nice and thick and they really stand out in uh, three-dimensional projects such as this. And that says uh, use your wings. So I'm again going to stick that down with my hot glue gun but of course you can use any type of adhesive that you like. And I'm going to embellish my roof with that beautiful butterfly. Again that butterfly comes from the same cutout uh, set. Now, as always, you will find the full list of all the supplies used in this video down below in the description area, as well as on the blog. Now, I am going to work a little bit on uh, to fill in that empty space at the roof of my house. So, I am creating a tiny little funnel with a paper and I am adding uh, these micro beads by Prima. The, these are in copper. And again, I am filling one of those glass bottles with the cork just to make sure that the cork is not going to fall and all those micro bits fall all over the place, I secured that with a little bit of uh, hot glue. Again, I'm going to decorate my jar. Now, I'm also going to stick a, a sticker from these uh, stickers by Tim Holtz. These are the clippings. And I went for the sticker that says number 42. And if you are a little bit nerdy like me, then you know that uh, number 42 is uh, the meaning of life, the universe and everything based on a book. Plus my son is wearing number 42 on his team. So that's a very special number for me. And just next to my 42 little uh, bottle, I'm going to stick a dice. This is an alpha dice by Tim Holtz again. And I'm making sure that in front I have uh, the letter V, which is my initial. And I always like to have uh, special meanings in little elements that I stick inside my mixed media projects, which makes them even more fun to create. 
And at this stage, my vignette house is pretty much finished. I am adding just a few details here and there. So I'm going to stick a butterfly there. And I also have that tiny little cork for uh, the jar at the front. So instead of throwing it away, I'm just going to stick it just next to it. And to finish it off, I am just going to touch up the letters again and add a touch of gold. This is gold acrylic paint. And now you can easily read the word spring. And that was a project for today. I hope it inspired you to create a little vignette house. They are so much fun to create and they are a beautiful decorative element for your craft room or your house. Here are some close-up photos of the project that I created today. Thank you all for joining me and see you next time.